Hi folks, Dr. Bob, the calcium alkaline stick. Well, these come a long, long way when I first started selling these. I used to sell the mag stick. It was magnesium oxide. And it was all that was in there, and uh, it did pr pr produce a very mild form of, of ionization. You got a higher alkalinity, a lower uh, ORP, a smaller water molecule cluster. It was very mild. And this one works substantially better. You've got two different types of materials in here. Alkaline calcium ceramic ball in here that releases calcium into the body. It's much more absorbable than regular calcium because now it's got really, it's essentially been ionized to some degree. Uh, so that's the first thing you've got in here. The other, the other material is the hydrogen water ceramic balls. Though those are made out of magnesium, zinc, tourmaline, far infrared powder, and silica. They bake this at about 800 degrees um, Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 hours, and you get these balls. That is really the key ingredient here and here, or what I'd like to call the, maybe the active ingredient. Now, for years, people were calling these the, the hydrogen stick because you're creating a lot of active hydrogen in the water. You know, ionized water, you've got three uh, antioxidant qualities. You've got an abundance of electrons. You've got a negative charge, negative ORP, oxidation reduction potential. And then you've got active hydrogen. Those are all antioxidants. Well, this, is, this produces quite a bit of hydrogen, so it's, it's been called the hydrogen stick for quite a while now. So hydrogen is definitely, we call it the active ingredient in here. It's what's produced uh, through the, re the, the action of the water. You just basically put this into a, you know, a, a bottle. I mean, this is a little small, honestly. If you shake it up like this, I wouldn't want to leave it in there too long. It's probably going to make the water a little too strong. Um, you know, it's really meant for more of a liter size. You can kind of shake it up in there and leave it for about five minutes or so. It'll start doing its job. It'll start really alkalizing the water really amazingly well. Um, it'd be really shot. So basically, you take this and just put it in some water like that, and then you just shake it up a little bit. And about 10 seconds worth. And what you'll see in there, there's a huge amount of bubbles that's going on. The molecules with an extra electron attached to them. So this will be going on for quite a while. This will turn really, really alkaline here. So these are very, very effective, the, the hydrogen alkaline stick. Um, I, again, I sold the magnesium stick for years and years. This is an, a better technology. Uh, it does use these other types of balls, the ceramic balls, the hydrogen balls that were really a kind of a, an invention that came up in the last about three to five years, uh, how they're putting these together and then baking them and, and the action this creates in the water. We also sell these filters, they're 10-inch filters, and you can just run your water through this, it'll create the same type of effect. Um, as the hydrogen stick like that. So uh, it's pretty effective. I always take one traveling anywhere I go. Um, you can even make alkaline water, ionized water, and put one of these in. It'll keep the levels up there for you, keep it alkaline. Um, you can use them numerous times before they stop working or kind of run out of calcium. Uh, the number of times is kind of interesting. I mean, you could probably use them a few hundred times before you want to get a new one. Um, so anyway, the alkaline hydrogen stick, Dr. Bob's uh, hydrogen stick, and um, you put that in your water, it's going to improve the quality tremendously. It doesn't filter anything out. So if you use like a tap water or anything like that, you want to filter it first. Uh, you can use reverse osmosis. Purified water, distilled water, will actually add some um, you know, calcium back into the water. It's not recommended. I'd still I'd rather see you use a, a, sil a spring water for that or a very well-filtered tap water. Um, and then you got some minerals in there to begin with, and then this kind of makes it stronger and, and uh, really transformed it into something really special. So the purified water would work, but... Uh, um, it won't really give you a very high TDS total of dissolved solids, the amount of minerals in the water. That won't be high enough. Otherwise, um, start taking these everywhere you go. They're amazing. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time.